Hello everyone, welcome back to Civil Learning Online. And today in this video, I am going to discuss about Stirling's formula. First of all, in this video, I will make you familiar with the Stirling's formula, and later we will solve an example based on this formula. And use through this video, you will be have sufficient idea to solve any kind of numerical based upon the Stirling's formula. So without any further delay, let's get started. So students, let's begin the solution of this video. And here we are, we are provided with f20 equals to 512, f30 equals to 439, f40 equals to 346, f50 equals to 243. And we are asked to calculate the value of f35. And f35 lies between f30 and f40. Means the value of f35 is going to lie between 439 and 346. And we are going to use Stirling's formula to calculate the value. So first of all, I would like to make you familiar with the Stirling formula and uh, the different terms which are used in formula and later we will solve the problem. So Stirling formula is y x equals to y naught plus p times delta y naught plus delta y minus 1 upon 2 bracket close then again plus p square by 2 factorial times delta square y minus 1 plus p times p square minus 1 upon 3 factorial times delta q y naught plus delta q y minus 2 upon 2 and bracket close plus p square times p square minus 1 upon 4 factorial times 4 factorial and then dot delta 4 y minus 2 similarly now what we will do we will find those values delta y naught value delta y minus 1 value delta q y naught value delta 4 y minus 2 value before that we need to learn know what is p so p is equals to x minus x naught upon h now what is x the value of, of, of which we are asked to find the val value that is we are provided with f35 so here 35 is our x okay so we have 35 as our x minus x naught means 35 is lying between 30 and 40 so i am going to take 30 as x naught so here we have 30 now what is h so h is difference in x this is 20 30 40 50 so difference is 10 means x is increasing by 10 that is what h means so we will write here 10 so on solving this we will get the value of p as 0. 5. simply subtract and divide this by 10 we will get 0 0.5 so our uh, p is 0 0.5 now uh, we need to draw a table to calculate the val these values of unknowns which are in the formula and then we will substitute those values in the formula and then we will find the final answer and our answer is going to lie between uh, 439 and 346 so let us see how it is done now what we will do we will write the value of x and y uh, one by one and then we will also leave some space between the value of uh, between the value of x and y so here we have 20 so right here x value is 20 again we have 30 and we have 40 and similarly final is 50 and we have the value of y corresponding value of y is 512 and 400 39 346 and similarly f50 value is 243 and one thing more what we i did i took x note as uh, x 30 as x note so this is our 0 and this is going to be 1 this is 2 similarly this is minus 1 and this is going to be the column of p now what we will do we will, we will calculate delta y so how we can calculate delta y we will simply subtract uh, this value from this value we will subtract this value from this value so we will get negative 73 that is minus 73 on subtracting this value from this similarly we will sub again subtract 
this value from this value so we will get again negative 93 again subtract this value from this value so we will get again minus 103 now again we will need to subtract once again so that we will not have any term remaining we will either we will have single term remaining in a column or uh, either zero so uh, again we have here three columns so again we will subtract so subtract this value from this value so we will get here minus 20 and try to write it in the middle of the two value of the, in the preceding columns okay so here we i'm going to write to this minus 20 between these two uh, elements so again we will subtract here uh, 103 uh, minus minus 193 so we will get here minus 10 once again subtraction because here two elements so subtract uh, minus 20 from minus 10 so we will get here positive 10 and this is the column of delta q y if we have a look in the formula we will we have got the value up to here so we will use uh, up to uh, this much portion for calculating the value of uh, f35 in this problem so let me close the table now and i am going to rewrite the formula and substitute the values of the unknowns and find the final answer so here by sterling's formula we have by sterling's formula the formula is y x equals to y naught plus p times delta y naught plus delta y minus 1 divided by 2 plus p square by 2 factorial delta square y minus 1 plus p times p square minus 1 upon 3 factorial times delta q y naught plus delta q y minus 2 upon 2 so now substitute the value so we will have here on substituting the value we have 439 y naught value uh, y naught value is 439 so 439 plus we have calculated the value of p at 0 0.5 so i'm going to write it as 0 0.5 as 1 by 2 here it is up to you you can use the decimal value also or you can use the fraction value also uh, it does not it will not create any kind of problem so 1 by 2 times minus 73 plus 93 divided by 2 plus 1 upon 8 this p square by 2 factorial we will have 1 upon 8 times minus 20 plus 1 upon 2 times 1 upon 4 minus 1 1 by 2 square is 1 by 4 so divide by 3 factorial means 6 times on do on solving this we will get 10 upon 2 so again we will i am going to add one more step of the solution that is 439 minus 166 upon 4 minus 20 upon 8 minus 30 upon 96 now do the lcm or you can simply use the calculator also simply convert these into decimal so we will on converting into decimal we will have 439 minus 41.5 minus 2.5 minus 0.3125 so on solving this on adding these elements numbers we will have here 3 94.6875 and this is our final answer of f35 and you can see that uh, 394 lies between 346 and 439 so our answer is correct and uh, as we know that sterling formula is for interpolation so we have interpolated the value using a sterling formula and if you guys enjoy, enjoyed this video and if you find this video helpful then do like this video and share this video to your friend do subscribe the channel and see you in the next video till then stay safe and take care of yourself